What's up, y'all? This is I Ride Share 2, and I'm your man, Vince. Today, we're going to talk about what type of insurance do you need for Uber and Lyft uh, ride share? Well, for one, you're probably inadequately insured to start with because Uber does insure you while you have a passenger in the vehicle, but the deductible is $2,500. So if you have an accident with somebody in your vehicle, you're covered, but you have to fork up the first $2,500. So let's say you're in an accident and the damages came to $2,000. Guess what? You're paying it. Up to that $2,500, you're paying it. So I would say you're not adequately insured if that $2,500 is a problem for you. And also, if you're insured by um, someone else, you can't use your personal insurance for rideshare. You need commercial insurance. So if you're in an accident and you want to circumvent that $2,500 deductible uh, from the Uber or Lyft insurance and you want to use your personal insurance because your deductible may be lower, you're getting yourself into trouble because your insurance company will not cover that type of accident. It needs to be commercial insurance. All right. So pray to God you're not in an accident while you have a passenger in the car and if you do make sure you have twenty five hundred dollars in the bank to cover it all right and there's also something called gap insurance now do you need gap insurance no but gap insurance covers you while you have the app on the uber or lyft app but there's no one in the car so to get around not having to have gap insurance don't drive around in your car with the app running and if you do and you're in an accident make sure you turn that app off then you can use your personal insurance as long as it's not ascertained that you were driving with uh, a rideshare app at the time of an accident. So to uh, not have to have gap insurance, you have to be in a stationary place with the app on waiting for a car, uh, excuse me, waiting for a call. You can't be driving around with the app on or else you do need to have gap insurance and that's an extra expense. So I would suggest that you post up somewhere park turn the app on wait for a call um, because again if you decide that you want to drive around with the app on you're taking a risk if you don't have gap insurance and you're eating into your profit if you do have gap insurance and Lyft and Uber don't pay a lot to begin with especially when you talk about uber x and uber pool or lyft and lyft line uh, i don't have any experience with the higher levels of uh, uber uber black uber xl uber suv um, that type of thing so um, i know from my experience uber x didn't pay enough money for me to want to run out and get gap insurance. Those are the type of things you need to keep in mind about insurance. Your personal insurance is not going to cover you uh, anytime dealing with Uber or Lyft. Uber's insurance will cover you while you're driving a passion, but the deductible is so high. Uber will and Lyft will not cover you while you're driving empty with the app on. So you would need to supplement 
the Uber insurance with what's called gap insurance. I hope you um, enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button at the bottom if you did. Uh, if you didn't enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button at the bottom and subscribe to the channel. I'll be bringing more videos that will try to uh, entertain and, and inform. That's my goal. And until the next time, peace.